we're going to be looking at different conversions between capacities. So capacities is another form of volume, okay? They're very similar, but they represent different things. So we have a nice conversion here between all the capacities. And if you take a look at the very bottom one, we have centimeters cubed. Now centimeters cubed is a form of volume, okay? But that's very handy because centimeters cubed is equivalent to just one milliliter, okay? Which is in, uh, in terms of capacity. So from here, these are all the different types of capacities and we can interchange between them by scales of 1000. So if we go through all the terms, this one is milliliter, this one is liters, to kiloliters and finally megaliters, okay? And we can see from the conversion that it's actually very nice and simple. So going from liters down to milliliters, we're going to multiply by a thousand. Or if we go vice versa, from milliliters to liters, we're going to um, divide by 1000. So knowing these conversions, let's try and convert between the different capacities that we have. So looking at the first one, we're going to convert from 4000 milliliters to liters. So that's from milliliters up to liters is what we're going to convert. And to do so, we're going to divide by 1000. So what do I have? I have 4,000 milliliters divided by 1,000, which would give me simply 4 liters. Okay, so that was a nice, very simple conversion that we have. Okay, all of these are very simple. Now looking at question number two, we're going to convert from uh, kiloliters to liters. So where is that? That's from kiloliters down to liters down there. Okay, and to do so, we're going to multiply 4.2 kiloliters by 1,000. Okay, so if we do that, we will get uh, 4,200 liters. Now looking at question three, we're going to convert from kiloliters to megaliters. So we're going to go up this time. So kiloliters to megaliters. And we're going to divide by 1,000 to do that. So 4,150 kiloliters divided by 1,000 will give me 4.15 megaliters. So let's move on to question number four. So converting from 2.9 liters to milliliters is from liters down to milliliters up here or down there. We're going to multiply my 2.9 liters by 1,000. So if we 2.9 times 1,000, that will give me 2,900 milliliters. Okay. Now question number five. We're going to convert 0.2 milliliters to kiloliters. So that's from, oh sorry, megaliters to kiloliters. So from megaliters down to kiloliters, we have to times by 1,000. So 0 to, oh sorry, 0 0.2 multiplied by 1,000 is 200 kiloliters. Now starting from question 6, we can see we have to convert from milliliters to kiloliters. Now we're going to, so that means we're going to convert from this one to up here. So to do so, we're going to just convert from milliliters to liters, and then we're going to convert to another kilo kiloliters, is what we're going to do. Okay, so we pretty much have to do the conversion twice, which means we're going to have to divide by 1,000 two times. So 7 million milliliters divide by 1,000, and divide by another 1,000 up here. Okay, so if we do that, we will simply get 7 kiloliters. Okay, so if we need to jump twice, then we can just do the conversion two times as well. Now looking at number seven, from megaliters to liters, again, that's from this one to this one, which means we're gonna have to do the conversion twice. So we're gonna go from milliliters, sorry, I keep saying that, megaliters to kiloliters to liters, which means multiply by a thousand and multiply by another thousand. So that's gonna look something like this. Okay, so if we do this multiplication, we will get uh, 3,800,000 liters. Okay, so let's move on to question number eight. From this question, again, we're going to convert from kiloliters to milliliters, which means I'm going to go down once, okay, and I'm going to go down one more time. Okay, so I'm going to multiply by a thousand and another thousand. So 4.3 kiloliters times 1,000 times another thousand will give me 4,300,000 liters. Okay, so as you can see, the conversions aren't particularly hard. We're just multiplying and dividing by thousands, okay? But it's very important to note, especially these terms and in which way they are ranked in this conversion.